<coughs> yes, hello. <coughs> yes, today I want to talk about the links between quality of opportunity and mortality in the European perspective, European context. And the reason uh, why we want, uh, we're wanting to investigate this issue is that, um, first of all, there's a joint work with my colleague, Kasper Kaiser from the University of Oxford. And the reason, the motivation of uh, concentrating on the, this topic is that we're both interested and we have done research on the consequences, individual level and consequences of experiencing intergenerational social mobility, which in other words meaning, um, means moving from your parental origins and childhood, childhood conditions to your own socioeconomic position in life and how this is correlated, associated or causally related to individual level outcomes. There are established, established research on the, on the individual level, level implications of intergenerational mobility and probably, probably the most known uh, theory is a uh, falling from grace uh, hypothesis which suggests that when individual experience downward, downward trajectory in their lives it negatively is reflected negatively on their health and also it, there are studies showing association between rightward voting and many other aspects of life when people move down the social hierarchy. On the other hand, there are some studies which suggest that intergenerational upward social mobility is positive for individuals' health and uh, some hypothesis known as uh, from rags to riches would suggest that moving up in hierarchy leads to positive outcomes because people become more positive about their lives, they have feeling that they control their life and this is positively reflected in many dimensions of uh, life. But then the question is, and the focus of our study is, what are the associations between individual level association or individual level effects on the one hand and also macro level consequences of intergenerational social mobility. And we refer intergenerational social mobility in terms of equality of opportunity, which, which means that if individuals' life chances are not dependent on their parents, then we can assume that uh, society is more equal in terms of equality of opportunity. Of course, equality of opportunity implies many other aspects of life, but in this particular uh, paper, in our research, we, we concentrate on intergenerational associations. So what's, what are the, the individual effects on macro level? We are also interested in if there are some spillover effects on indivi between individuals. For instance, experiencing not yourself social mobility, but what it feels like. Does it have any implication if you live in a society in which people have equal chances to move upward in social hierarchy? So we, we're interested basically the spillover effects on the level of mobility and uh, health consequences on broader uh, social level. Methodological contribution of our paper, we think, is an uh, uh, approach through which we try to link individual survey-based uh, uh, estimates with registry uh, mortality data and try by this linkage to come up with the answers on our research question. So what are the potential mechanisms, what, what is the theory behind, possible theory behind the associations between social mobility levels, equality of maternity levels and mortality uh, on the other hand? We think that there are two possible explanations why they might, there might be links between equality of maternity and mortality. The first one is uh, economic approach to health investments which basically suggests that if people live in societies which are more equal and if people have feeling that they can experience upward mobility and they can reach to the full their potential in life, they're more likely to live healthy life, they're more likely to invest in their health and then in the end they will benefit from their health because they attain better jobs, they live for longer and they get higher utility for, for their, from their healthy uh, behaviors and uh, healthy outcomes. That's the first uh, hypothetical relationship. Another hypothetical relationship which we think might be uh, taking place is uh, 
well-known um, uh, spirit-level hypothesis, which suggests that more unequal societies have uh, higher uh, health problems uh, because uh, when there is a high inequality, we're talking now about income inequality, people feel more socially marginalized uh, and there are many other psychological processes going on which in the end lead to negative health outcomes. But we extend this hypothesis assuming that people not only look about the current distribution of income distribution and the outcome distribution, but they also probably more likely to, as well are likely to be unhappy about unequal distribution of life chances, which we measure through equality of opportunity uh, indexes. Okay, so these are the two potential uh, explanations why there might be the links between opportunity and mortality. In terms of research design, so we used five waves of European social surveys starting from 2002 and the reason why we use only these five waves is that only these five waves include uh, good measures of social origin, parental, socioeconomic, uh, occupational variables. Other waves unfortunately don't do that, so we limit our analysis to these five sample, five waves. We cover uh, all countries for which data is available, and it's, uh, about, uh, it's exactly 30 countries in our sample, and we, uh, these um, 30 countries include about 160,000 individuals. While the mortality rate, on the other hand, the our outcome variable are derived from the Eurostat estimates, Eurostat uh, data set, which itself is generated through country level, uh, or national country statistical offices. So, to, to, to make it clear for you how the data is structured, basically our unit of analysis uh, are age groups. So we generate equality of opportunity measures for 12 age groups starting at 25 years old and ending with people 85 years old. So that makes 12 age groups. And all these age groups are nested in the first place in the countries and the countries are nested in, the, in, in uh, waves. So if we multiply all these different levels, we get about 1,200 observations uh, for our analysis, excluding the, uh, excluding the countries and waves for which data is not available. So basically we have, we have uh, 1,200 observations to identify if there are links between equality of opportunity and mortality. So how our main explanatory variable is uh, derived? So we look about, uh, we you know, operationalize equality of opportunity through um, relative intergenerational mobility in social status. And total, uh, social status is measured based on the International Socioeconomic Index of Occupational Status, which we, um, which we transform in percentile terms. Percentile terms, so, so for parents we have distribution starting from 1 and ending to 100 and the same logic is applied for individuals themselves so within these two distribution movement up equals to upward social mobility and movement down equals to downward social mobility mortality data is uh, three years moving averages for all, uh, all post death rates we estimate separately for all males and uh, females our models um, and we also uh, run models with specific causes of mortality when they, to potentially identify some causal mechanisms how equality and opportunities linked with mortality outcomes. Of course we understand that this measure of intergenerational relative mobility is not the only explanation of mortality, therefore we control for large explanations of uh, mortality which have, have been shown to be associated with health outcomes of so all these uh, controls for specific age groups are included in adjusted models. I won't be showing the results for this covariance, uh, of course. But um, the results are the following, and I'll be showing only the baseline results here. So, the, our independent variable, the primary exponential variable, is achievement of bottom quartile uh, and mortality in Europe. So, which means basically 
how far individuals starting from bottom 25%, how far they move in social hierarchy. So higher they move, uh, we, we think that's a higher equality of opportunity in this specific uh, society. So what we find is that um, uh, in line with our predictions, in uh, those uh, age groups across countries and across years, uh, in which uh, people are more able to move up from the bottom 25%, they, their, their mortality levels are lower. And in terms of specific uh, measurements, specific um, uh, concrete uh, association, for instance, for, for men in adjusted model, um, change in death rate from complete absence of equality opportunity to full equality of opportunity would reduce mortality rate by about 11%. And then here, where, here we have definition of absence of equality of opportunity as well as full equality of opportunity. I won't go into details here. But uh, we find clear links that there is a, a association between uh, equality of opportunity and uh, mortality in Europe. Conclusions so we make is that um, this is one of the first evidence anywhere in the world that there's a there's an association between equality of opportunity and the uh, mortality outcomes. We find more consistent effect for males than females, and we don't have an uh, exact explanation for that, but we think that specific uh, mobility trends for uh, women and uh, also um, uh, specific social constructed differences between men and women play some role here. I didn't show the results for specific causes of death, but we find that for some causes uh, we have a stronger links between equality opportunity and primarily for the links uh, such as external causes and uh, self-harm, which includes uh, suicides. Uh, there are stronger links between uh, our uh, equality opportunity measure and the outcome. Uh, limitations, we cannot measure causality because it's a cross-sectional data. We're not able to control for other administrative data and models beyond uh, mortality data because there is no such data for uh, across countries for specific age groups. And uh, our implication would be that equality of opportunity is not only good for normative consideration, but it's also good for, for health outcomes. Fortunately, we managed to publish this article quite, uh, quite fast and uh, this uh, paper was um, uh, it's, it's published just a few days uh, ago, so if you're interested, you, you can download uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, no, an access uh, paper. But we didn't stop there, we also moved to other world data on social mobility now and we find, I won't go up to that's my mic on the last slide, but we find the same trend if we change European data with world data. So this is our ongoing work and we find the same result. More equal societies have lower mortality levels. This is it. Thank you very much.